Hi, my name is Adam Garcia, and I'm a senior graphic design student that's graduating this semester. My focus for my senior project is a relationship between a country and their clothes, but not in the traditional sense. Fashion can define culture as easily as a language. My art focuses on the fashion, more specifically the streetwear, that countries around the world revolve towards. I've always been interested in the streetwear that I see in anime and from skaters, and thought I would bring a better look into the streetwear from other countries and how each have their own nuances. Clothes have always been used to express, no matter the situation. Some religious examples would be a nun's habit, a Hasidic Jew's outfit, or a Muslim abaya. Then we can go into clothes that define someone's life, like a wedding or prom dress, a suit and tie for work, or a school uniform. But we tend to focus more on how it looks on the person rather than what the clothes mean to the person. Streetwear came during a time when people wanted to express themselves more. In the 1970s, there was a surge of popularity of rock and anti-culture movements. At the same time, there was a popular surfboarder, Stussy, who decided to put his brand on the boards and t-shirts and sell them. Both were making merchandise to an audience that loved and appreciated what they stood for and did. With this came a sort of exclusivity that couldn't be found with much other clothes at the time, as well as the freedom to express what people love. We jump to the 90s, where more brands are entering the streetwear scene, luxury or not. Streetwear brings more people together through an expression that many main brand clothes just can't provide. There's a distinct difference between a streetwear and an outfit you can get from Gap. Being able to stand out from this monotonous world of mainstream fashion. Although streetwear seems like a more exclusive thing, it's not. There are clothes drops and dedicated stores that sell the same things the whole season, but then Supreme is a prime example of how drops should be. They have limited drops of hoodies, pants, shirts, basically anything with their logo on it. Um, the culture surrounding a brand sucks people in. People want to be a part of that streetwear culture. Streetwear isn't limited to that and has become a large part of fashion today. There's still a lot of skatewear and artistic wear that are considered streetwear. What I'm trying to capture in streetwear looks, looks like in different countries and combining it with a style that I'm comfortable with, which is more anime-esque. Ever since I was in middle school, I've always loved everything about anime and manga, from the animated styles to the various plots that sucked me in, and I was in love immediately. The style that I gravitated towards was a more chibi style, where the heads are bigger and the body's generally smaller and cuter. I went through sketches feeling more comfortable as I went along, putting outfits on little chibi characters and understanding better what I wanted to do. Finally, deciding on a more animated look instead of a chibi one to focus on the clothes and relate it better to the current streetwear of different countries. I went to look at Instagram one day to remember what influenced me with my digital art and what I wanted to portray. The first artist is Alessandro Barbucci. Their, starters, their art is always beautiful. Like many other artists, I draw inspiration from. They seem to have a great understanding of lighting proportions that are always beautiful to look at. and have great story storytelling in almost everything they do. Next, I look at Merca, Mercand89 for their line work and storytelling as well. What I focus on is usually, since it's usually Instagram, is their devil and angel storyline that they post through their entire feed and how they, through one or two pictures, you can see the emotions and the, the beautiful relationship that they can have. Next is Loish V. B. Um, I draw a more animated style from this. I just love the way that they can use their lighting, no matter what kind of lighting. Um, they're design, their style choices is always fascinating to me. Finally, it's Maruti Bitumen. I usually go to them to look at something cute and mystical. Uh, the way they are able to make complicated and cute little worlds is, in almost every piece makes me curious on how they perceive things. It makes me want to think a little differently on what I do with my art and how I design uh, my pieces. In the end, I drew a lot of inspiration from other various artists in order to get my final pr products. I like to think that my style isn't set at the moment, and I wanted to show that in a different approach and how I went with everything with my final three pieces. 
I took a different approaches to line work, coloring, shading, and more. I love what I've done, and I look forward to being able to find my style in art, as well as in my own fashion choices. Thank you.